think you'd be forgiven to miss some of the stories that are going on about West Ham at the moment because there's just so many other big things happening. You've also got the Declan Rice thing, which just seems to be dragging on forever, um, which obviously we all just want to see the back of. But there's also things like the um, coaches leaving and backroom changes, all these things that are going on, players that we're interested in, Harvey Bar, all these things. So sometimes lose track because there are some stories in there that just sort of get a bit lost in the wash. Now, I'm not suggesting that, that nobody's reported this or talked about it because I'm sure they have. But it's certainly not one that's made any sort of big uh, impression in terms of well, social media and, and whatnot. Um, and it's regarding Side Ben Rama. So last week, The Guardian put out an article and it was Jacob Steinberg, who's very respected um, West Ham fan. He's one of those journalists, like along with X and a few others, Fabrizio, and that, that you trust. If, if they're going to say something and report something, you tend to lean towards the fact that, yeah, that's that's probably a credible story. Um, and it was a strange one because it, was, it wasn't a main story about Ben Rama. It was actually a story about Harvey Barnes and talking about his, you know, Newcastle United being keen on him and West Ham being keen and all that kind of stuff. And But what it did, it wrote within that story... It had a comment about Ben Rahman. It was very interesting. As I say, it wasn't the whole article wasn't based around this, but it, as I said, it comes from Jacob Steinberg, which gives you kind of gives it a little bit of credibility and, and makes you take notice. And basically, the, the story was it said that that, that actually Ben Rama would, would actually tempted to, to move on and, and seek a new challenge elsewhere in his career. It's a strange one, actually. I, I do find that a bit odd. I, I, and I'll tell you for why. The reason I find it a bit strange is because one, the timing. It's no secret that David Moyes has had trust issues with Ben Rama since day one. We've known that as fans. We've seen it time and time again. When we've ever had a problem, but Moyes has called out Ben Rama. He's been dropped lots of times. You know, we've just seen it so many times. I've even you can go games and see how frustrated he gets with the player. So I actually felt that probably the end of last season, not the season, sorry, not the season just gone, the season before that, um, when we qualified for the Europa Conference League, uh, when we finished seventh. I thought that would be probably the time that Ben Rahm might want to seek a move because the, the trust just wasn't there for the manager as far as I'm concerned. It, I, I couldn't imagine him being overly happy being at the club. So I was obviously pleased to see that he wanted to stay on. And let's be honest, last season was his, his best season he's had at West Ham. He had a massive impact um, across the board in, in big matches, in big moments. And he was relatively consistent. I know he's not the most consistent player, but he was better. Let, let's get that right. I, was, I have said about a couple of times on, on here that I do find him frustrating in that he seems to be the play better when the team are playing poorly. He sort of stands out. He looks like a shining light when we're not doing very well. But then when we're actually playing quite well, it's when he seems to not perform as well. That's just sometimes how I'd see it. Maybe I'm being a bit harsh. Feel free to let me know. But um, as I say, it's, an odd, it's, it's odd timing this now because let's just, let's just take this as, as if it's true. Let's just say, yeah, this is, this is what's going to happen. Ben Rama's looking elsewhere. He's thinking about a new challenge this, this summer. Well, as I said, last season, the season before, summer before, you'd expect that might, I'd have probably bought that more. I'd have probably thought, well, yeah, I kind of get it. If I was in his shoes, I might be thinking, you know what, this is like working under David Moyes. I want to move on. But I actually thought last season, the trust issue pretty much was put to bed. I, I actually felt that he gained Moyes's trust because he was utilised in massive games, in big games. He was pretty much one of the first names on the team sheet, realistically. And I actually felt that he looked like a happier player, like he felt more, he looked more settled. He was playing better. As I said, the trust with the manager was there. It, and, and now he's, let's be honest, look at the moments he scored. In. Look at the big games he appeared in and did some big moments. The Man United, the Arsenal, and then, of course, the final, scoring the penalty. And that's another thing. He's the club's penalty taker now. There's no denying that. He is our best penalty taker. He has cemented that position at West Ham. And if I was him, I'd be thinking, well, that, that could be 10 goals a season for me, pretty much. You know, you, I'm guessing I'm not showing me penalties you get a season. Let's call it 10. I don't know the average. That's straight away in your bag, pretty much. And you'd be thinking, on, on top of the other goals you get, I mean, this is a big time for him as a player. So I find it strange that this would be the summer that you go, I oh, fancy a change. Um, I do find it odd. I do, I, I'm not sure where I sit with it all, actually. The interesting part is, for me, you know, is when you actually weigh it up, is it gives more credibility and probably not, not so much a credibility, more substance to the Harvey Barnes link. There's no doubt about it. West Ham are very much interested in Harvey Barnes. I'm actually convinced, this is just my gut, I don't know this for a fact, but I think once this Declan deal is concluded, which I, you know, as I record this, it's Thursday, 
I imagine by fr- Friday, Saturday, this is all going to be done. That you'll see West Ham make a big move for Harvey Barnes. That, that's what I imagine will happen. <coughs> of course, we've got Newcastle. Sorry about this. I've still got a cold. I can't shift. Um, but I actually think that West Ham will make a big move for Harvey Barnes. He's still, a t- as X has reported recently, he's still a top target. It seems odd that we've got a top target we're not going to make a bid for, not make a move for. I just don't think that's the case. It will be interesting. But what it does do in regards to the Barnes story, um, the Ben Rama story, is gives that a little bit more understanding. You think, OK, that's maybe what it is then. So maybe uh, have there been conversations, have the club kind of indicated that we're actually going to get Barnes in. You're, you, you're going to be effectively you and Barnes competing for, for left wing. It's, it's very odd. And then also, of course, we've still got um, uh, Four Nails and uh, Max Cornet from playing the left. So it's still a confusing one for me. But I mean, I'm still I'm a big fan of Harvey Barnes. I'd like to see him come in. But it does big. If let's just say we do bring Barnes in, then the Ben Rama story makes more sense, doesn't it? You kind of think, okay, ah, uh, that's why he's seeking a new challenge. West Ham are going to offload him. It, it's, it, there has been murmurings of the whole Saudi interest and all that kind of stuff. I mean, again, I'm just talking. I'm not talking from X. I'm not quote anything he said. I'm literally just reading for what I see on social media and stuff. So it could be total rubbish, but it kind of makes sense. Do you know what I mean? You think, okay, that's what's happening. But that's where we are. Um, my final thoughts on it, though, I actually don't want that to happen. I don't want to lose Ben Rama. I think like, we're actually starting to see the player we signed from Brentford. He's been very hit and miss since his time at West Ham. He's been, you know, as we've said, struggled with the relationship with the manager. He hasn't really had that trust from him. I feel that's now got put to bed. So I would, I, you know, I, and even if Barnes does come in, <coughs> I still think Ben Rama could do a job for West Ham. I really do. I'm not overly confident in Barnes now, personally. I think with Newcastle there anyway, I don't really see us getting him. That's just my gut now. Like I just, I think if Newcastle are that interested, they've just got too much pull. If they're really that serious, <coughs> I think the only way West Ham are going to get it is if they just outbid and put in so much more money. But that just isn't West Ham, is it? That's not what we do. If we value him at 25 million, we're not going to table 35 to get the deal done. That's just not how we operate whatsoever. So that's my gut feeling. I'd like to know what um, you uh, think of all this because. As I say, I, I'm. It, it's a strange position this season. The left wing. If, if many fans have come to me, and say, I don't even know why we're talking about Harvey Barnes, and they quite rightly so say that. Actually, I do think you're right. It's kind of like we're so sort of we've got to get Barnes. He's a main target. We want to get him, but actually, a left wing's probably not. We're quite strong in that position at the moment. The argument will be, and this is what I'd like to get your thoughts on, is if let's just say we do get Barnes, just to say we get him, and then you've got an option of say off a player. Who do you get rid of? For me, it's Max Corno. I mean, as much as I still would like him to do well at West Ham, I haven't seen enough of him. I don't want to lose four now. I think he's too valuable to us. I think he's a, he's a good grafter. You, you do need him in the big moments and tough games. Ben Rahm has proven to be a big player for us and the big moments again and the penalty taking, I, I think, is invaluable. And then Harvey Barnes, who I really rate. So that, that that's where I would go if we were to get Barnes. Um, but yeah, I'd like to know your thoughts on it. Certainly be very interesting. But yeah, Ben Rahm, future, definitely up in the air at the moment. 